Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 28th of January 2020. Yeah, I've been yeah on vacation for two weeks. Maybe you can see it. Mm, I don't know. And also I got a new chair. So it's a bit more perspective. You went down a bit, a little bit as well. The table went down and a bit of a lower chair. And yeah, it's very dark. So I'm probably not going to wear many dark t-shirts in the future. So yeah, but enough about uh, what happened here. Let's focus on the whiskey news worldwide. And the first news comes from Scotland, McAllen. McAllen brings out a new a uh, uh, special release and that's the Archival Series Folio 5. It's uh, honoring the advertisement campaigns of the 1970s and 1990s and there was uh, a lottery about the uh, buying this whiskey on the McAllen homepage and you could when you uh, won one of these bottles you could buy it for 250 pounds. Yes, McAllen can do that because they are that well known and that big of a brand. Then we have a Johnny Walker and that is a big one. Johnny Walker is becoming 200 years old. Yeah, they have their 200 years anniversary this year and we're really excited about what will happen uh, this year with Johnny Walker because I think Diageo, the company that owns Johnny Walker, is gonna have some special releases, some special cel celebratory um, bottles, or maybe even some events in stock. But we don't know, that is just pure speculation I did just now. Next up is uh, a new planning of a new distillery, and that is the Moffat Distillery. Moffat is lying in the lowlands. Yeah, that's about one hour directly south of um, Edinburgh. And they're planning to build this distillery there. But there's not much more information released. So we are waiting on updates if this is really going to happen. Then we have news from Tomatin. Tomatin is releasing a new bottling. It's the so, uh, Tomatin Warehouse 6 collection from 1977. So yeah, 1977, a very, very old, very, very exclusive and very expensive whiskey. I think it was just one cask with 390 bottles, maybe two casks, and every bottle costs 3,000 euros with 48% ABV. Then we have news from Talisca. There's no real whiskey news there, but Talisca had the Whiskey Atlantic Challenge and that just finished. The sons of the whiskey legend, legend Charles Maglin did actually cross the Atlantic in a rowboat and they actually did three uh, world records with that. They had the fastest uh, triple team, so only three people rowing in the boat. Then they had the first brothers uh, team. So they were all brothers rowing uh, over the Atlantic and they were the youngest team ever to do the Atlantic crossing. And one that was not a world record was they finished by playing the bagpipe. Yeah, Scottish people. So congratulations to these three brothers. Then we had Brown Foreman in the news. And Brown Foreman is in the news because they're going to London. Brown Foreman is a company from America, Louisville, Kentucky, and known for the brands of Jack Daniels and Woodford Reserve. And now they're building a headquarter in London and they want to build a sales department there to distribute their whiskey in Great Britain. Yeah, and a little side note, Brown Foreman is also becoming 150 years old but maybe not that many special editions this year because it's just the company and not the brands. Then we have news from the very, very north. The Wolfburn Distillery brings out a new bottling. The Wolfburn 150 batch 155 port cask finish is coming. Yeah, it is the first batch that was matured for six months in X port casks, 46% ABV and will be on the market soon. 
then we go down to England and the Lakes Distillery is in news because they sold part of their company to an investment company. It's kind of a equity increase as they invested into the company and the new money is being invested into the more production capacity. Well, they want to actually triple the production capacity. So the Lakes Distillery is becoming a big thing now. Let's have a look how that develops in the future. Then we have some Irish whiskey news. Yes, the Powers whiskey is getting a new design. Yeah, the Powers whiskey bottle is becoming a bit more narrow and they get a, a four a diamond shaped uh, thing on the bottle with a P in it that stands for powers it will be available on the market in march 2020 at least here in germany i'm not quite sure about all the international markets but they will probably release it around that time in the international markets as well then we have news from middleton yeah middleton the dan gallagh series gets a third whiskey and it's going to be called the Milton very rare, Middleton very rare Dan Gallagh Knockrath forests. Yeah, the Knockrath forest is a forest uh, in Ireland, and they actually has Irish oak there. And from that oak, they built casks, so Irish oak casks. And this whiskey was finished for two years in this oak. It's going to be cost around 310 euros. It's going to be filled in uh, cask strength, but unfortunately, it's not going to be available all around the world. Unfortunately, not in Germany, so I'm probably not going to get one of these on my cask here. But it's going to be in the UK, USA, uh, Ireland, France, and even in China. And then we have uh, go to the new uh, continent. We have the Buffalo Trace Distillery doing huge investments. They want to invest a mill. Uh, a billion dollars so 1000 millions of dollars and they want to expand with that they want to expand the distillery and also build two, uh, 22 new warehouses with a capacity of 58800 casks each they want to really increase their production yeah so hopefully we'll see more older whiskey than on the market or just a better supply of Buffalo Trace whiskey. And then talking about short supply, we have news from Nika. Nika is discontinuing their age statement whiskey. They're gonna uh, end with the Taketsuro Pure Malts 17, 21 and 25 years. And they will not gonna be continued. And they will also reduce the sale of the Yuichi, Miyagikyu and Takatsuru uh, distributions because they want to increase their stocks for the future. Hopefully that gonna end up well because they will uh, continue producing. So at some point they're gonna have to sell some more old stock. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this episode, then please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you next time.